always that you have two heroes in the game, but I suppose that's what we can say in this instance. Let's start with you, Jesse. David De Gea and Jesse Lingard were the heroes for Manchester United against West Ham at the London Stadium. Lingard with the 88th minute winner and De Gea with his first penalty save since, what, 2015-16? Monumental individual performances from them with those moments that changed the game. In this video, I want to sort of, I want to send a message to De Gea and Lingard because for both of them, for different reasons, it was a huge bit of redemption. For De Gea, you saw in the post-match celebrations, you saw in how, look at his face, man. You saw what that meant to Dave because it's been a tough few seasons for Dave, isn't it? Nobody can disagree with that. He went from being our like three-time player of the year, the best goalkeeper in the world, in my opinion, and his form dropped massively to the point where at this summer, I said, look, it feels like this is the right time for De Gea to leave and for Henderson to come in and be our number one. And I'm happy to hold my hands up here and say, I'm lo I love being proven wrong. I love eating humble, fi humble pie. I love eating humble pie because De Gea looks like De Gea. This is what you want to see from Dave. De Gea there with the penalty save against Noble. Unlucky Noble. Ridiculous decision to bring him on, by the way. That penalty save there and his double save against Wolves. De Gea has argu arguably got United four points already this season. That is when Dave's at his best, when his match-winning, match-changing contributions help Man United in the course of the season. And De Gea, he hasn't done it for a few years. I question whether he was past it or not, but that Europa League final, man, that hurt Dave. And you just knew the way that that game was going, that it was probably going to end up being him taking the penalty. It's just the way it looked. And it had to be him that missed after, again, he came into some severe criticism. But I tried to be as balanced as possible as here on United People's TV. And if I'm going to criticise Dave, and I have done plenty, then he deserves huge praise for the redemption arc that he completed with that penalty save there. And you saw how much it meant to him. You saw how much it meant to the whole squad who ran over to him, celebrated with him. And for De Gea there, that continues what has been a fantastic start to the season for him at Manchester United. I don't know how Dean Henderson is going to get into this team and I don't think Dean can really argue otherwise because as I said, criticise players, criticise managers, criticise anybody when that criticism is fair and it was very fair of De Gea for some time. Really uncharacteristic mistakes, making lots of them but this season, De Gea looks like he's come back to this club re-energised. He's got a new energy back inside him that's burning brighter than it has done for the last few years. That double save against Wolves, that penalty save there against West Ham. But overall, the performances, remember his kick that he did from his hands against Newcastle over to Greenwood, passed it to Bruno, to Popper, to Bruno, third goal for United. That came from Dave looking up and having the vision and the confidence to play that pass. This De Gea, he is one of the best in the Premier League. He can win. I don't know, whatever he wants to win this year. This Dave saves, and I'm buzzing to have him back. And Jesse Lingard as well. That's why this is a message, a video to two players, because Jesse Lingard, huge redemption for him. Only a few days after that catastrophic mistake against Young Boys. Lingard getting brought on there by Odegaard Solskjaer late on, and he messed up. A ridiculous decision. But to show... That sort of level of mentality, elite mentality from Lingard to overcome the frustrations and the pain that that mistake would have caused him to then go and do that against West Ham only a few days later, back against the, the club that he spent last season on loan at and had a bit of affiliation with, that goes to show that that's why we as fans are not football managers. Because if it was my decision, I probably wouldn't have brought Lingard on. I might have not even had him in the squad after what happened against Young Boys. But instead, Solskjaer trusted him. Solskjaer put him in and Jesse Lingard did not disappoint. He did not fail with what was an absolutely spectacular finish against West Ham. And especially when you consider what happened with Lingard this summer, it's even more impressive that he did that. Because remember, Lingard during the summer, we were all like, Jesse Lingard should be sold, man. The 20 to 30 million that we could get for him, we can invest that into a central midfielder. It seemed very obvious and I was banging that drum all summer. And Lingard didn't want to leave. And I questioned his ambition. I said, look, Lingard, man, if you want to get into that England squad 
for the 2022 World Cup, you need to leave Manchester United. I don't think you'll get many opportunities at the club. Sure, those, those opportunities may become even more limited when Marcus Rashford came back. But purple patch Jesse Lingard is a player that improves Manchester United's squad. To have a player like that to come off the bench to try and change a game when it's not working for you, that improves our options. It's a bit like why Van der Beek is being kept at the club at the moment. Whether or not you agree with that or not is a different video altogether. But Lingard, there was so much anger towards him staying, so much frustration, so many questioning his ambition. And he goes and does that a few days after Young Boys. What a week, eh? And what a week it's been for Manchester United. It, the, 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 the ups and downs, the, the drama, the highs, the lows. Hey, look, man, that's why we love football. That is why we love football. Those moments, those dramatic moments, especially late winners, are the best thing you can ever, ever have as a Manchester United fan, as a fa as a football fan in general. But yeah, I wanted to do a video here to sort of send my own message to De Gea and my own message to Lingard from Man United fans. I think I can speak for plenty of United fans here and saying, look, both of them have been criticised hugely and both of them turned up when United needed them the most yesterday. De Gea and Lingard. And for De Gea, as I said, he's back, man. And I, I, I always said that Ronaldo coming in, I think it's going to make everyone play... It's going to, they're going to find an, an extra 10% that they didn't know they had before. And De Gea really is looking like 2015, 16. He's looking like prime De Gea right now. That Lingard there, that's purple patch Jesse Lingard. I'm telling you, man, I know there's a lot that Solskjaer gets wrong in terms of tactics, in terms of setup, in terms of substitutions. Didn't get his subs wrong against West Ham, did he? Lingard and Matic, assist and the goal, two subs. Game changing. But the elite mentalities that we saw there from Lingard, and the elite mentalities we saw there from De, Gea, from De Gea. Absolutely fantastic, man. They both deserve huge credit for that. Solskjaer deserves credit for continuing the trust in them. And as I said, the man management of Solskjaer definitely contributed to the fact that both players were able to do that in that game. We talk about our individual moments win the games. and Look, individual moments win football. Individuals score goals. The team doesn't. Ultimately, it will be the team that wins or loses. But individuals do. And De Gea there, for me now, he's been responsible for helping United win four extra points this year with that double save against Wolves and that penalty save there against West Ham. That's what you want your best players to do. And De Gea is coming up good. And I can't wait to see what happens across the course of this season. And Jesse Lingard, if you can do that, man, purple patch Jesse, and that's the sort of impact you can have from the bench. You will play plenty of games for Manchester United this season. I don't think Jesse should be starting that many. We've got too many top quality players in that squad. But Jadon Sancho is struggling with form right now. But with Jesse Lingard doing that from the bench, it makes it easier, the less pressure on Sancho to really deliver straight away. And I've got no questions or no concerns that he will definitely deliver. But I'm just buzzing, man. I'm buzzing for De Gea. I'm buzzing for Lingard. And as I said, it goes to show that that's why we're not managers. That's why we're just football fans. Because the, uh, the huge frustration and anger we would have had towards Jesse Lingard after that young boys game, we might not have had Jesse in the squad. We certainly probably wouldn't have brought him off, off the bench. But Solskjaer trusted him. And Lingard did not disappoint. I think he should have celebrated. I liked it when I saw Bruno and Ronaldo pushing Lingard, make, trying to make him celebrate. He was like, nah, man. I don't really agree with the whole don't celebrate against your former teams. Hell, you're only on loan there, bro. You're United Academy product. Celebrate that winner. Go Barmy. Like the away end did. I loved that video from, there was a West Ham fan who recorded it. Uh, cheers for that. And the, the, the away end bouncing after that save from Dave and as I said man management wise I think Solskjaer has done so much good at this club so much good and I think De Gea's redemption arc and Lingard's redemption arc there maybe it's a redemption arc is a bit strong for Lingard because it's, it was only this week really but it's a smaller redemption but for De Gea that was a huge moment he clearly had been holding on to that all summer long and he's used it as fuel for this De Gea that's come back this season re-energised he looks fucking great. And I can't wait to see him probably stay in goal all season long. Sorry, Dean, you're not getting in front of Dave, not when he's in this form. But this is my message to De Gea and Lingard. My message of support. Criticise players, criticise anyone when they do things wrong, but praise them when they are due it. And for De Gea to do that after the Europa League final and save that penalty, let's kick on this season, Dave. Let's win it all. Win all the pots. Let's see what happens. And for Lingard... Well done, man. It's an elite mentality to, to be able to do that. Only a few days after what happened against Young Boys and the disappointment that you had there to go and do that against West Ham. Elite. 
that's my message to Lingard. My message to De Gea. What's your reaction to both of their performances? And what's what would you say to both of them? But I, I quite like doing these videos. If you think there's any other ones I should be doing, any other points or opinions that you think I should be speaking about, hit me up on Twitter or leave it in the comments below. I always listen to what you want me to do on the channel. But make sure you subscribe to United People's TV if you're new in town. But De Gea and Lingard, buzzing for both of you.